in. Our government is deeply in debt after what can only be described as a decade of profligacy. Now, the fact is, 10 years ago, we had a budget surplus of more than $200 billion, with projected surpluses stretching out toward the horizon. Yet over the course of the past 10 years, the previous administration and previous Congresses created an expensive new drug program, passed massive tax cuts for the wealthy, and funded two wars without paying for any of it. Still blaming that evil Bush, and this time wasting no time doing it. The president's comment coming 16 seconds into his budget announcement today. Former Clinton advisor Richard Goodstein, though, says keep it going. So, Richard, um, one of my most favorite uh, folks on the left, you say keep at it, right? You know, uh, repetition is the name of the game in politics. And I actually tip my hat uh, to President Obama. Not, it's not finger-pointing, Neil. Yes, uh, it I've is. heard you say it over and over on your air. No, 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 no. Yes, it's, it it's no more finger-pointing than it was for Ronald Reagan to talk about the crummy economy and the, the hyperinflation that he inherited from Jimmy Carter, or FDR, the crummy economy, obviously, in spades, that he, he inherited from uh, Richard, Hoover. this guy does it in every speech. Every speech. No, no, uh, At what point well, does it become his economy? At what point does well, it become his deficit? Yeah, yeah, here, here's what he's trying to do. He's trying to keep the country from engaging in a mass case of amnesia. Because only if he reminds people that we had negative 6% growth a year ago and positive 6 growth today, only if the president, using that bully pulpit, says it over and over again, will people know it. Let me give you one illustration. The stimulus had, indisputably, the single biggest middle class tax cut Ever. I guarantee you. So what did we get for it? What did we get for it? What did we get well, for it? Well, what we got was going from negative 6% growth to positive 6% growth. We all know that unemployment is a, a lagging indicator. So it wasn't that's anything having to do with cycling out like we normally, if to 18, 24 months of recessions, Neil, that's what Neil, happened. With all due respect, go back and read the press as the stock market was tanking around the time uh, between um, late 08 and early 09, all the forecasts were that maybe, if we were lucky, we would pull out a recession by the middle of 2010. In fact, we pulled out by the summer well, we of lost, 2009. We lost uh, more than 2 cycle. million additional jobs. So, so I it, guess we could have created or saved some or whatever the new math is. All I'm saying on this, Richard, is there has to be a point at which you claim responsibility for the economy you're in. I mean, th three years from now, assuming he's running for re-election, is the president still going to go back? to blame his predecessor? I mean, how well, much do you keep pushing this? Uh, well, again, with all due respect, FDR, FDR did that in 1936 and won the biggest landslide all right, in the fine. history Let's say you're time. right so on that. I don't know what FDR was saying. Unlike you, I'm not that old. I am saying, okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, okay. I'm just saying, Richard, I, I mean, there does come a point when, when you as a leader stop blaming others. I mean, John Kennedy could have blamed Dwight Eisenhower for the Bay of Pigs yeah. that was sort of thrust right. upon him. But eventually, so he say, that eventually he just said, all right, I got this. I'm the yeah. guy. End the story. I claim yeah. responsibility. His poll numbers went up the next day. Yeah. Uh, Eisenhower didn't, wasn't the one who uh, called for us to go into the Bay of Pigs. But, but it's not that he's blaming um, President Bush in particular. Yes, what he's he saying is. is here was, he's saying, here's the hand we were dealt. He, what he said to the Republicans on Friday at their retreat was, we would have had $8 trillion in deficits over the coming year based on President Bush's forecast. But Nothing Richard, if I you're going to do president. this nonsense, then where do you end it? I mean, because you could obviously say, as the former president could say, well, I had this Internet bubble bursting 10 years ago this very month, by the way. And I also had this other little item called 9-11. And, and, and these are things that happen under my watch. But that's all glossed over in this great, you know, sort of uh, debate as to who claims what and that Bush is all bad. Look, I'm not an apologist for the former president. I called him on spending and rescues in his administration as well. The fact of the matter is, you know this isn't fair. You know this isn't right. You know glossing over the implosion of the Internet and what that meant to the stock market and 9-11 and what that meant to everybody misses a couple of key points that isn't fair, that isn't right, and, in fact, that's morally reprehensible. Well, no. It, it, what's morally reprehensible is propounding the notion that somehow or other this budget and this president is doing something that's off the charts when, in fact, Richard, what he inherited it would be was like going me to get saying, us to it's not what I'm eating. It's a thyroid condition. People at home are <laughs> going to say, Kavuta, will you stop it? Let me use one illustration. And, and, and uh, during the 08 campaign, yes. John McCain was asked, what would you do about the deficits? And he said, I definitely cut Medicare and, I, and Social Security. This year, 
don't touch Medicare. That would be horrible for our seniors. Now you're well, shifting. No, now you're going all over the map. But you're still no, 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 brilliant, not, and I still I'm, love you. And Richard, I'm just I'm saying we disagree. reminding people of what the facts all right, are. That's all, right. all. Well, you're, you're loosey-goosey with these facts. Richard, let's get you back soon again. Always good seeing you. Fine. Richard Thanks. Goodstein. All right, well, if tax hikes...